today, I have Corinda Dion. She's here to share her chasing dreams. Uh, we are definitely excited to have her on. Do you want to say hello and introduce yourself a little bit? Oh, oh yes. Hello, 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 Tiara. I'm so excited to be a part of this wonderful podcast and your show. And uh, I'm hoping that we impact somebody today. Absolutely. And that's what it's all about. Like, if we can touch one person. Just one. That's all I need, for sure. Yes. <laughs> okay. So tell us a little bit about your story. Sure, absolutely. So um, I was born and raised in Baltimore, Maryland, and uh, came up in a very nurturing environment. Yes. Uh, my background um, in regards to family is very, very strong. Um, daddy's girl, um, mommy's girl, you know, um, very affectionate. Um, so I was very nurtured and, and it's, and, and it's a blessing. Um, as I grew older, um, my paths let me out of Baltimore. Uh, I went to school in New York, uh, where I studied marketing at the Fashion Institute of Technology. And when I left there, uh, I started my journey, um, in regards to my career path in North Carolina. Okay. I've always enjoyed writing. Like I wasn't the type of child that played outside a lot and got dirty and, you know, jumped yeah. fences. <laughs> you know, I had my teddy bears and my tea parties, um, but writing was always a safe place for me. Okay. Um, believe it or not, growing up, I was bullied in school. Um, a lot of uh, just, you know, oh, you think you're cute. Oh, you think you're pretty. Oh, this, this, this. So, you know, I didn't realize how some of that affected me even as I got older in regards to self-esteem. Um, and I remember one time just saying to God, okay, God, why did you make me this way? No one wants to be my friend. Um, I'm getting teased. You know, I couldn't catch the bus. People, you know, my parents had to take me and pick me up from school um, because of the situation. So writing became my escape. Um, yeah. And so I began to write poetry at a very young, 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 young age. And my mother told me uh, to always hold on to my work. She's like, I know you see it as a hobby, but it really uh, is a gift that, that, you know, that you have. And one day you never know, it might turn into a book. Well, to make a long story short, um, I did publish my first poetry book. Um, it's been a while now, uh, yeah. but you know, again, um, I just continue to uh, be true to my gift and be true to what works for Corinda. Um, and writing is one of those things. So in the course of, of writing, and I'll be very honest with you, even growing uh, up in school, middle school, high school, um, I, my teachers used to tell me all the time that I had very poor writing skills. Wow. Uh, okay. They would say, you know, listen, that's not your gift, right? <laughs> things well, but that's not it. And I was very discouraged by that. Um, but you know, as we fast forward now at 30, 38 years old, um, I've published three books. I've had an opportunity to publish a magazine, uh, for women. Um, and so even though, yes, um, you know, writing is something that I have to continue to work on. Um, I've decided to turn that, uh, negativity into something positive. So here we are today, <laughs> still writing, still impacting and empowering men and women uh, through the power of words, through books, through motivational speaking. And I love it. Yes, I absolutely yes, love yes, it. <laughs> yes. So one of the things that really stood out to me as you were speaking is understanding like our words matter to children. Yes. And, you know, to hear your story and to hear how your mother said it is your gift, but then you said, you know, someone else was like, nah, that ain't it. And it really creates this complex, like, is it or not, you know? And what I want us all as adults to do is be more conscious of the words we're saying to children because yes. it matters. And here you are, you know, 30 plus years later, still remembering those conversations and a lot of times the voices in our head was someone else's voice Yes. and we've adopted it and it's become, you know, our thoughts, mm -hmm. good, bad, or indifferent. 
Yes, absolutely. I mean, even growing up, Tierra, I remember, like, I always wanted to be a TV uh, anchor woman. I wanted to be on, on TV. Yeah. And when I found out that some of the courses that I needed to take were, you know, would entail writing, mm -hmm. I was like, mm -mm. So I, I oh. didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you start to think, like, I don't think I can do it. When yep. really you're just replaying a track in your head, but we replay it so many times, it yes. becomes our voice. It does. Yeah. Someone else's voice becoming your own. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Not careful. Absolutely. And, and that's the case for people, even if they're not your child. Mm -hmm. Like if you have a connection to any child. Yes. You're responsible for how you pour into their life and what you're pouring. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. It's all in planting those seeds and right. you want those seeds to be fruitful. Exactly. <laughs> and not poison. Ugh. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So when exactly. did you realize like the dream? Like when did it click? Mm -hmm. for you? you know, um, it clicked for me in college. Uh, when I was in college, um, when I went to New York, let me tell you, <laughs> I just, I went all out. You know, my parents were like, what is going on? Yeah. Oh gosh, Tara, I, I, I cut off all of my hair. I, you know, I dyed it blonde. I had all kinds of colors. I pierced my tongue. I was just out there. <laughs> So I remember one time because I would catch uh, the Peter Pan bus. I don't even know if that bus still runs, but I, I would catch. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I would get on the Peter Pan bus, and my mom would tell me, "Please let me know who to expect, you know, when you get off of this bus, because I don't know, I don't know so where big. Corinda is, but tell me who's coming, you know." But it was in college that I realized, okay, you got to make a choice. You got to make a decision. Either you're going to accept and take ownership of all of you, mm -hmm. or you're going to continue on this path. Now, I'm not saying the path was a, a horrible path or a terrible path, but if not careful, it could have uh, taken me somewhere in which I didn't want to go. Exactly. That makes sense. So in college, um, and going through all of those emotions and transitions and who am I and all of that and yeah. saying, okay, I am Corinda. Yes, I am flawed. Yes, I may not be the strongest writer, but guess what? I'm going to accept my gift. Now, when I turned, this was my 30th birthday, true story. My 30th birthday, I had someone very, very dear to me uh, to give me a ticket to go somewhere uh, to meet someone. And Tara, I've always wanted to meet this person. They're like one of the giants in motivational speaking, okay? Yeah, and it. so I just was in awe. I said, oh my gosh, I'm going to Atlanta. I'm going to uh, to this, this workshop. I'm going to meet this person. And um, I just knew it was going to be life-changing. Um, even as a little girl, I've always been told, you know, Corinda, there's something different about you. But until you believe it, it, it doesn't even different. matter. Yeah. Doesn't matter, right? Doesn't hold yeah. weight. So I got off the plane, got to this conference, met this giant of a man, and I was just like, oh my gosh. I love it. He's this conference center, Tierra, and he has all of us to get up, and he's like, I just want you to walk around the room. Just start walking, right? So we're all walking, and he's like, you, you can sit down when I say you, you got it. So we're walking and walking. So more people were sitting down, more people were sitting down. And I'm like, okay, why am I still walking? What's going right, on? Like, uh... Oh, Tierra, I promise you more true story. More people are sitting down, more people are sitting down. And at this point, I mean, anxiety, heart is racing. Yes. All of these emotions are going on. And at the end of the day, I was the last one walking. Like everyone was sitting down, all eyes were on me, and I'm still walking, still walking, still walking. And he said to me, do you know why I have you walking? Do you know why I haven't said to you, you can, you can sit down? And I said, no, please, right. please tell me. me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Said, Corinda, I want you to walk until you believe. And I was like, oh my gosh. Wow. So, you know, that giant of a man was Les Brown. And that moment was life 
changing for me. And the journey began. Yeah, I love Les Brown. He's yeah. definitely one of my favorites. Um, yes. Between him and probably Lisa Nichols, like, I Lord love no speakers, that's it for me. Yeah. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> hey, <girl>. uh, yes. <laughs> um, so that's a great story, and I'm glad you finally got to sit down. <laughs> Yeah, I finally got to sit down. I finally. <laughs> yeah, we finally got there for starters. Yeah. Um, so when you think about, you know, your speaking engagements, your books, your poetry, like what do you hope to give back to the world? You know what? I hope to give back to the world that men and women truly believe that they were birthed to make an impact. I, I am so big on that. And not just any impact, Tierra, but your impact, what you were born and birthed to do. Now, sometimes um, that experience will come through life experiences right. and you know it gets more detailed and tweaked, but yeah. don't let those life experiences choke your impact like you you've got to believe that if i'm up living and breathing i am purpose to make an impact and that's why i said in the beginning of your your show that even if it's just one person right it's it good it makes the difference it makes the difference yes absolutely and i totally co-sign everything that you just said i think every single human was birthed with a purpose absolutely and what that looks like is going to be different for us all but yes. in my opinion it's selfish to not pursue purpose because yes. there's someone waiting on the very thing yes you all to do Absolutely. And not only, Tara, is it selfish, but it's disappointing. And that is what I feel is one of the reasons in which God has uh, led me to do motivational speaking and talk about bad to bad and these lemons that life gives us, because yeah. disappointment is real. And a lot of people uh, find it difficult to bounce back and not even to bounce back, but just to even progress after experiencing not just one level of disappointment or one experience of dis disappointment, but I'm talking about heartbreaking, life altering disappointment. Absolutely. Oh gosh. So yes. So that motivates me because I feel like Tara, the, the, the audience in which I'm called to are people who are literally right on the edge. Yes. Like they're there, like they're on the edge and they just need that push to mm -hmm. say, Hey, I'm on this journey with you. Been there, done that. I got you, but you have got to make an impact in this lifetime. You've got to do it. Absolutely. <laughs> and thank you for all that you do to further, you know, the community, the world, all of that. I think it's great. Thank great, you. Great. So thank you uh, oh. for, for chasing your dreams effectively and yeah. understanding your responsibility on this world. So I appreciate it for sure. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> so I do have a question about a little bit about want to take you back, you know, to your teenage years. Uh -huh. If you could go back and tell yourself like one thing, what would it be? I would tell myself that I'm enough. Mm. That I don't have to live in an image of anybody else. I don't have to force friendships or relationships. Mm -hmm. I don't have to force doors opened. I'm enough. Absolutely. That's what I can tell myself Absolutely. because I've always felt like I've got to do more. Exactly. There's more. Yeah. <laughs> that too. And I definitely get it. There's a constant balance between being content. Yes. And pushing for better. And it's just like, like yes. feeling enough, but then mm -hmm. like knowing you're capable of more. Yes, absolutely. That balance. And, and, and that's one of the reasons um, why I was so passionate about Perfect Patty Messed Up devotional mm -hmm. for women to know you're, you are enough and you've got to accept the good and the bad. You've got to accept the message and the mess. 
And you've got to keep moving forward. For sure. For sure. Absolutely. So what are some projects you're currently working on? <gasps> Tiara. Oh, my goodness. I know. It's so this juicy. is my favorite question. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love so it. <laughs> so a couple of things that I'm working on. One thing that I'm working on is the launch of Corinda Dion LLC, which will be launching on my 39th birthday. Hey. Um, so June, yes. June 11th is the day of the launch. Hey. So very excited. Um, and Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Exactly. Yes. So very excited about that. And Corinda Dion LLC uh, has a twofold purpose in regards to what it does. So of course it has the motivational speaking platform, but it also encompasses personal coaching and then corporate workshop and training. Nice. So the personal coaching piece um, is helping individuals go from bad BAD, which stands for brokenness, abuse, divorce, which I've experienced all three. Okay. To BADD. Okay. Bad, which stands for boldness, authenticity, deliverance, and destiny. Okay. So that's the personal piece. All right. And then the corporate piece is uh, going out into corporations um, and talking about how do you maximize the potential of your employees when you don't even realize how many lemons are being thrown their way. Um, the things outside of the nine to five. Um, and what can we do so that those lemons you know, don't hold your employees back from reaching their maximum potential. Absolutely. So it has that twofold purpose. And I am so excited. <laughs> you. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and then last but not least, in regards to the personal piece, um, I'm doing several workshops in relation to the book, Perfect Patty Messed Up. And I'm helping women get their snap on all across, all across, all across uh, many, many places um, so that they can balance focus and detox. So there you go. <laughs> Beautiful. That is so exciting. Are we having a launch party? We are having a launch party and you are absolutely invited to the launch party. Yeah, I'll be there. No, listen, <laughs> I, and I'll be there more so because I love celebrating amazing people uh, doing amazing things. I love it. You. Yes, absolutely. We're absolutely. having a virtual launch party. I'll make sure to get you the details. We'd love for you to be a part and to support. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. So much. So, where do you see your dream in five years? Mm. Oh my! In five years, I see myself. Hmm. I see myself in five years in shock. I, love I see it. myself just in awe of mm -hmm. believing day by day mm -hmm. that I, I could not even imagine mm -hmm. where I am in that point in point in time. I mean, it's, it's, Yes, do I want to uh, be a uh, world-renowned speaker and be noticed on platforms and be a household name? Yes, all of that's great. But I want Corinda to be surprised. I want Corinda to have an element of wow. Yes, yes, yes. And what that encompasses, Tierra, you know, wow. however that unfolds, Mm -hmm. I receive of it. Amen. And when two or more are agree in agreement, yes, ma'am. So yes. I, I'm in agreement with you on that. And that is beautiful. Yes. yes. Chase yes. the awe. Like, oh, that's good. I may have to borrow that. You can have it. It was, that's yours. Chase so the awe. Yes. The awe. Yes. Absolutely. Love it. Love it. Mm -hmm. So where can everyone find you? Like social media, website, email, all of that. Yes, yes, yes. So um, everyone can find me, of course, I'm on Facebook as Corinda Dion. I also have a Facebook page, uh, Corinda Dion LLC. Um, on Twitter, I am at CDP Jim. Uh, on Instagram, Corinda Dion. Um, also, the website will be uh, launched June 11th. It will launch June 11th. So that will be Corinda Dion dot com um and i'm also on amazon so they can find uh perfect patty messed up uh, devotional there as well as the other books and they can also call 888-473-2221 
or email me personally at Corinda Dion, uh, Corinda Dion LLC at yahoo.com. I know that was fine. No, <laughs> that was great. And I'm going to make sure that it's typed up so everyone can follow along as well and get that information. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have one last question for you. Boy, let's Perfect. go for it. <laughs> yeah. Perfect Patty messed up. Is that from, um, why did I get married? Oh my gosh. Okay. Yes. Can I just tell okay. you? Okay, I know we got to go, but can I just tell you this story really fast? Yeah, 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 yeah. story. Now, I am a hopeless romantic, okay? Yeah, me too. Okay. One of my favorite movies of all times is Love Jones. And yeah. some but, okay, right? So, I'm a hopeless romantic. So, I this is this is so crazy. When I went to see the movie, um, and of course you've seen the movie. So, yeah. there's this scene with Janet Jackson with her husband, and Janet Jackson was admired. She was intelligent. She was smart. Uh, she was accomplishing things. Yeah. She was on top of it, but she was also hurting. She was also not dealing with things of the issues of the heart. Um, she also hadn't forgiven herself. So, when that scene came up, they were in the kitchen, they were uh, talking back and forth, and he wanted to talk about the death of their son, and she did not want to deal with it. Yeah. She did not want to deal with it. So I remember, um, you know, she takes out, you know, food in the refrigerator, and she's like, chicken or steak or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And then he's like, look at him. And so she puts down everything, and she's like, perfect patty messed up. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Yes. So, Patty. <laughs> so yes. when she said that it spoke volume so yes. yes that is where the inspiration yes. of the whole 40-day devotional came about yeah yes. mm -hmm. um and I definitely love that for starters because I think there was a part of all of us that kind of was like I get it I get it I get it. We all try to be perfect Patty. Yes. And we try to keep it together and we try to handle everything. And I am woman. Hear me roar. I can handle yes. whatever. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we just mess. We mess up. up. We and mess up. Happens. Yes. Um, I, I definitely wanted to ask you that. I was like, I have to ask. Because it, yes. it, it was, yes. Yeah. So I'm glad, glad, glad to have you on. Thank you Thank so you. much for sharing your story with us. Thank you. Definitely love doing the Chasing Dream series. More importantly, because like I, I share my story on my channel all the time, but I love when I can bring someone else and mm -hmm. share a different perspective, a different story, you know, because yes. it's our dreams in different ways. So hopefully you've connected with someone in a different way that I couldn't have. So thank you so much for being a oh, part of Thank you for having me on. I, I so enjoyed myself. I just felt like we were just, you know, two good girlfriends. Talking up. Talk. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, thank you so much. And guys, make sure you hit subscribe to the Nicole's Network YouTube channel. So as soon as this video goes live, you are the first to know. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs>